and MPs have just finished voting on whether to uphold or reject the Emergencies Act. The results are in, and the government has won the day. Our chief political correspondent, David Aiken, joins us from Ottawa. And David, the events over the weekend changed the tone of the debate. Well, Colleen, opponents of the decision to invoke the Federal Emergency Act had been saying all along that it was never needed. Conservative and Bloc Québécois MPs pointed to the fact that border blockades were cleared without the Federal Emergencies Act. And now that the Ottawa occupation has been cleared and the capital's downtown secured, they renewed their objections to the Prime Minister's decision to invoke the Emergencies Act. So using the tactic of a schoolyard bully, he has decided to implement the Emergencies Act so that he can control, manipulate, dictate. It's the equivalent of awakening the Kraken, a legislative le leviathan that should only be broken when in the most dire of situations. I don't believe that the government has met the test. But the Prime Minister insisted it was still necessary, noting that many of the Parliament Hill trucks are now camped nearby, ready to return. Indeed, this video shot by Global News Monday afternoon at a farm about halfway between Montreal and Ottawa, there were about 125 vehicles, many of which had been on Parliament Hill these last few weeks, and they're now camped about 100 kilometers from Ottawa on a private farm across from a truck stop supplying them with fuel, food and supplies. When the situation is still of people pre-positioning. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.